I'm telling you, Nagomi is flat out trolling everybody. Up, Whitey Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Konojo Okorashimasu, aka Rent a Girlfriend, Chapter 189. So before I get to this, of course I gotta mention the tweet that the Rent a Girlfriend anime account put out in regards to Ruka. I swear to God, I... <sighs> Why would you tweet this? Why would you tweet how could you turn her down in regards to Ruka after what she's been doing in the manga? Whoever is running that running that Twitter account needs to be fired. They do. Seriously. Whoever is running a lot of these English anime accounts, especially when they're manga anime adaptation accounts, they need to be, like, caught up with the manga or the light novel they are adapting before they tweet, I swear to God, damn God, and I will say this, I'm very glad the manga readers, as fellow manga readers, went in on that tweet. I was very happy to see this. Anyway, last chapter, oh God, it's really, it's really becoming apparent that this is all going according to Nagomi's plan. I don't, I, I swear, I need to have like a freaking thing of Reynolds next to me during my live reactions. I'm really gonna start doing this because I'm running out of metaphorical tinfoil. Aluminum foil here to make my tinfoil hats because this is a MAGA, MAGA American conspiracy here. This is all going according to, go, to Grandma Nagomi's plan. Because let's be real. Why else would she invite Ruka on this trip? And not only that, why would she bring um, additional guests with us? Why? Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us um, this week. And today's chapter is titled, The Girlfriend in Paradise, Part 2. And Ragey, this cover page is heavenly. Oh my god, this cover page is gorge. Oh my god. So, there's 8 million copies in circulation now. Very happy to see this. Very happy to, to see this. And, um, ooh, we got a year at least um, for the an sec second season of the anime adaptation. And that will be in 2022. And I do not have any faith in this anime adaptation. I really don't. The only anime adaptation I have faith in right now, and it's probably going to be... The only one that I cover, and probably the first one I, I've i covered since Brian died, so that would be in September of 2019, will be Made in Abyss Season 2. Because that one is, Made in Abyss is just, ugh, it's everything. That that manga anime adaptation is worth it. Okay, so now let's get to this. Just as Kazi, I think, um, thinks he might be uh, through this unscathed, the, um... The provisional girlfriend's ex-rental boyfriend appears. The chaos is kicking into gear. I'm telling you, Nagomi is trolling. This is going all according to her plan. Just, wa uh, just watch. Uh. <laughs> Kazuya's face is just priceless. The look on his face is everything here. He's just like, the, the, the face is everything. Huh? Huh? Nagomi knows all. She knows all. Um, why are you here? Did Kibe invite you? Curry's coming on the trip? What is happening right now? This spells all sorts of trouble. I mean, Ruka-chan, uh, Kuribayashi-san, thank you very much for renting me. And Curry? And Curry! Is this karma? What's, what's with all this shouting? What? You know her? Come to think of it, that girl, Kibe! Oh, let me introduce you. Uh, this is Ruka uh, Sarashina. She's an old friend of Chizuru-san's. Uh, Chizuru is uh, this your first time meeting her, uh, Yoshiak? Oh, wait. Is this your fine? Oh, my God. I'm just like... Oh. Dude, I'm telling you, she trolling! She trolling! Oh, let me introduce you. This is Ruka uh, Sarashina. She's an old friend of Chizuru-san's. Is this your first time meeting her, Yoshiaki? 
Uh, uh, right, um, uh, right, Kazuya? Right! Chizuru-san's friend? This is bad! The conversation's getting away from me! Eh, what do you, uh, what, do you know her, Curry? How would you even know a cute chick like that? Oh, no! Uh-huh. Don't say it! You can't say she's your ex mental girlfriend! It was a while back the four of us hung out. Just, uh, just the once. Oh, is that right? What did you do? Um, and why do you seem so shocked? Uh, we went rock climbing, you know, um, oh, you know, uh, where you climb up a wall. As long as we can keep, um, just keep the rental girlfriend thing, uh, secret, we can manage. Well, sounds like everybody basically knows each other. That means we don't have to be all polite and awkward. It'll make for a better trip. That face says it all! I'm telling you, she... This is all going according to plan! I'm telling you, Mommy probably spilled. She probably... Mommy totally told Nagomi a good chunk of shit. Either Mommy told Nagomi, or Nagomi just figured it out, and it's just all going according to plan. Nagomi just goddamn trolling. I just fucking know it. Well, everybody's here. Let's head over to track nine. We just have to make it over this hump for now. That's all. Kazuya, you have a minute. Let's in the bathroom. Curry, Curry, yeah, obviously. Huh, uh, oh, yeah, uh, sorry, you going ahead. Huh? I asked you earlier, and you didn't, um, and you said uh, you didn't have to go. Well, now I do. Well, we got time. Reminds me of my school days. Men running off to the bathroom together is nothing to worry about. Let's go on ahead. Ooh. What the hell is going on? I'm sorry, man. I get that Chizuru-san's still your girlfriend or whatever, but why the hell is Ruka-chan here? Oh, she's my trial girlfriend. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I could end up dead. A grisly fate I'm fit to print in, the, in this magazine. I, lo I love you. I love you, Rachie. The thing is, after the double date, I guess um, Mizuhara and Ruka-chan ended up getting to know each other. Apparently, they kept in touch. Then Grandma saw them together, and that's basically how we got here. And that's basically how we got here? How does that explain today? Grandma thought she'd have more fun uh, with friends, so she forced it on us. You can't... S mm -hmm. got me. I see through your scheme. You can't say anything about the rental girlfriend stuff, okay? I'm begging you. You have to tell me that. Of course I don't. His situation, he, he's uh, got almost as much to lose as me. Man, still, maybe I should go home. Yo, decided I had to go after all. I guess if you jerk it in the morning, it makes you piss all day or something. Re read that online so Fucking keep it. Read that online somewhere. Oh, God. Nagomi sounds practically glowing she's so happy. I'm glad I brought curry. This motherfucker. Kime, Kime knows something. Man, she's, he's either in on this with Nagomi, or he just knows something is up. Or Mommy told both- Dude, if this is a- if this is Mommy's scheme, I'm going to be, like, I'm gonna be shocked. I'm gonna be shook if this is all according to Mommy's plan. No, fucking, no, 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 no. You better not be telling me that this is mommy's fucking troll. Nah, nah. I want this to be Nagomi's troll so bad. I do. If it started because of mommy telling Nagomi, uh, nah, I, I wouldn't be happy about that either. And. Oh, here it comes. You know what? I'll say this. If it's, if this whole thing came about because Mommy told, uh, Nagomi about Ruka and Chizuru being rental girlfriends, then I can accept that, this whole scheme, because of that. But, other than that, I would not be happy with this. Nah. Anyway. Oh, here it comes! Come on, come on, get it together! Uh, come on, come on, get it together. Watch your step, Chizuru-san. Oh, I'm all right. Uh, you don't need to act like such a m uh, mother hen. You should be the one watching out, Mom. Uh, Mom? Uh, let's see. Don't treat me like I'm old. I don't need to spell it out. Uh, out to you, right, Ruka-chan? Huh? 
No girlfriend talk, no clinging to me, none of it. That won't help any of us right now. Just act casual. I know, I know already. You don't have to think so little of me like that, dude. Yes, he does. Because you are a stalker psycho bitch. I'm not that much of a... Yes! Dude, I'm not that much of a child! Yes, you are, you dumb bitch! Ach, you're too, way too loud. I, I know what happened between us, but I never meant to hurt um, uh, Kirbyashi-san. He and I don't really know each other. We're complete strangers. Are you sure? Um, can you control yourself? Are you positive? As long as I can keep you two from confessing, that's then that's enough for me. You bitch! That's enough for me! Oh, you bitch! You, re you revealed your hand! Roka, you stupid bitch! You're not supposed to tell him that! You're not supposed to tell him this! You're supposed to keep that to yourself, you stupid bitch! Now Kazuya is not gonna do shit for you! Things just keep getting more and more out of hand! This is all so chaotic! Fucking dumbass! You fucking dumbass! Dude, Kazuya, Kazuya, now you better just goddamn confess! You better confess because of what that bitch just said! Roka, you are a dumbass! You are a dumbass! You are supposed to keep that to yourself! You stupid bitch! Hey, you all right? Um, hey, you all right? Uh, Mizuhara, well, Kuri's on board with the friend thing, and things are going to be awkward, but I got Ruka-chan under control, too. I see, but, look, I'm really sorry. I may not have known, but I'm sorry you're getting, uh, for getting you wrapped up in this crazy trip. Oh, well, I'll get what I'm owed. I'll survive. Speaking of which, are you good money-wise? Uh, of course. Well, besides, I felt like I needed to see Grandma Nagomi one more time, huh? In the end, there's no way I can wear this, so it's strange to keep holding on to it. That's, that's our... Back then at the hospital, she gave it to me. She said she wanted me to have it. It's incredibly important to your family, so while it may um, very well hurt her, I need to give it back. Of course, that's way too much to carry. We've had that for generations. Look, I get it. Don't worry, I'll explain everything to Grandma. Um, I'll tell her it was just too much for you to hold on to. Thanks, that'll help. I can't believe Grandma put that much pressure on her. I've been in um, big trouble for her, and I didn't even realize it. She's been carrying such a burden. She probably has no idea how to feel. We'll get through this, huh? Uh, Kurabayashi comes on board, right? And Ruka-chan knows how to read a room. Let's ride this out. Um, You and me together. Yes! We can do this. I mean, it's not worth crying over. We can do this! I'm on your side no matter what kind of chaos is in store. Uh, we'll, we'll get through it together. Trouble, uh, we'll get through it. Uh, we'll get through it together. Trouble, do your worst! Next time, chaotic taxi ride, too. Ruka, you fucking dumbass. You fucking dumbass. I'm telling you. Because remember what mommy said. Mommy said to Jizuru that she wanted to expose Kazuya. She did, and she was she was she was gonna have plans for this. I think this is it. I think this is mommy's plan, but it's gonna backfire. It's gonna backfire on her. It will because as I've been saying, Nagomi knows. Nagomi and Sayuri knew something was up the entire time. They didn't know about this, but now that. Nagomi knows about, you know, the rental girlfriend stuff. Now she can make her moves. She can make her moves. To make this uh, lie into a truth. Because she knows. She knows that Kazuya and Shizuru want each other. She knows it. She knows they're in love with each other. She knows. But she knows Ruka is in the way. She knows Ruka is fucking shit up, and she's got to take care of Ruka first. And once she takes care of Ruka, then things will will take care of itself. But where does Kibe fit in all this is the is another question as well. Kibe is probably doing, Kibe, Kibe is probably there to make sure that things go according to plan as well. 
That's probably why. Just because I, I, I'm telling you, keep a nose too. Because remember that meaning between, this is how I know when they knew this. And I'll put my tinfoil hat on this. Remember that meaning back then, with, that we saw back then between Kibe, Nagomi, and Mommy. That was when. That was when shit went down. Shit went down back then during that meeting. Something was said. It wasn't just about work. It was more than that. They were making plans. There was plans to be made. And, well, not fully plans to be made. Mommy exposed. Mommy had to have exposed. Um... Uh, Chizuru. And maybe to an extent Ruka as well, but I'm not sure if she would have exposed Ruka already. But she might, what she probably showed uh, Nagomi was the website. She probably could have shown Nago uh, Nagomi the website. And Nagomi ain't stupid. She ain't dumb. She probably knew what she, she was going to do after um, Mommy showed her everything. They fit, and obviously, Kibe and them figured out who uh, one of Ruka's clients was and realized that, you know, they were, you know, one of the clients was in their inner circle. So, it just feels like that's what's going on. It really does. That's why I'm saying Mommy's plan to fuck shit up for Kazuya is going to backfire. It is. Now, the question is... Will Chizuru figure it out? Mm. I don't know. We'll find out for sure by the end of this trip if this was all according, if mommy was playing a role in this or not, or what. But just something tells me that th this is what the case is. I just feel like this is, I, I feel like if this is the case like I think it is, then Nagomi probably, and Nagomi probably knows, I hope, Nago, I, I trust Nagomi. I really do. Because Nagomi can, Nagomi can read people pretty well. She can. Because she knows Ruka is, I think she knows Ruka is a POS. I think she does. She would probably, t she would probably tell Mommy to back off. So, we'll have to wait and see what direction Reiji wants to go with this, but please, please, please be in this direction. I think that would be the most interesting direction. And based off of Nagomi's character, that especially we've seen so far, and even to an extent Sayuri's character before, you know, she passed on, it seems to me that would make the most sense, at least for me anyway. Especially with how we've seen this trip play out so far. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nordicans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Kanojo Akarashi Masu content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my cash, cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Friendly, and PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!